What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vincent. Today we are back with another reaction. Today we're reacting to people get owned on camera compilation. Now, before I clicked on this video, I instantly started to think of what comes to mind when I hear people get owned. And don't cancel me when you hear this, but why was the first thing I thought of slaves? No, 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 I'm sorry, no. I, I don't know why I thought that. I think it's something wrong with me for real. Because I started to get mad. I was like, what the heck? I was like, what the heck? Who saw a slave getting on and pulled their phone and was like, huh, I'm going to record this. What? Huh? No, 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 that's got to be racist. I, I went through this whole scenario in my mind and I realized, oh, people get on on camera. They probably just got debunked. I'm stupid. Oh. Please get into this video and see people get on. It's not in that way on camera compilation. So let's get into it. Let's go. Get some late night phone call in there. Of course, yeah. Pillow talk and that. You ready for that? You know, pillow talk. A little bit of pillow talk. A little be pillow good. and that. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> we could talk in the daytime. Of, yeah. You're quite scintillating. Scintillating. What? Yeah. Nice. Well, define that. What's that? Define it. Define what? Scintillating. You define it. You define it. You said it. English is not really my strongest subject. Of course. Well, I'm glad <coughs> you said it. Oh. On the radio? Was he on the radio on live TV? What was he on? Because I'm not going to lie. She got to fight me on camera after that. Oh. That's embarrassing. Like, I don't even know why people say words that they don't know the meaning to sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say a word like philosophical. What? Philosophical. 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 Or something like that. I don't even know if that's a word, but it sounded smart. Did it? No. I don't know. But I'm not gonna sit here and say that so somebody can test me and be like, Do you really know what that mean? And then I'm not gonna know what it means. I'm gonna look dumb. Yeah, I'm never gonna say nothing smart again. Number one, baby. Number one. There are those who try. I'm buying a hundred thousand dollars worth of iPhones. What? Thousand dollars? Correct. I'm gonna sell them all on eBay. And Number those who dollars. try to buy. I've been here since six o'clock this morning. While Mark Rivelier spent the last 12 hours waiting in line for an iPhone at the AT&T store on Oak Lawn in Dallas. So how much would it cost to buy your position in the front of the line? 15 minutes before the 6 o'clock launch after others spent hours. We've been here since 12.30. And hours. I'm in line for a friend. Waiting patiently. I guess we're going to barter away from the camera. How about that? I remember these days. With 16 grand in cash in hand. Dang. And bought Mark's number one spot in line for 800 bucks. She gave me $800. Money talks. A worthwhile investment, she thought, because... No, it's on more on eBay, so it's all right. Yet, when the doors finally opened... I'm first. Yup, she was first. But maybe instead of stopping at the bank, she should have stopped to read the rules. Her plan to buy out the store? Uh -huh. Sorry. Can you buy more than one cent? Unfortunately, we can only sell one per customer. AT&T imposed a one phone per customer rule to make sure that there were enough to go around. That's a serious package, folks. That is a serious package. She bought his Mark iPhone. And his $800 spot. Turns out he didn't really need it. There were three people in his party, and they only wanted to buy two phones. We have a little signature leather case here. So he's stocking up a phone with all the trimmings and the knowledge that there are some things. I don't think she was too happy with you. I don't think she was, and on top of that, she didn't get a free phone. That <laughs> money can't buy. Ooh. Steve Noviello. I just think she got the short end of the stick there, America. Fox <laughs> I know she watching this interview punching air. She's sitting here, ah, I'm about 800 dollars Dude, I would be furious. Well, first of all, she deserved it. She's ignorant. I hate people like that with a passion. People still do that to this day. Who thought of that? I hate you. You need to be spit on by everybody in the world. Wow. I don't like you, bro. No, no, because it really made me mad. It made me mad, bro. You told me I can't get nothing because you bought it all up just to sell it for more you don't even want the item you just want to buy it so you can sell it for more that should be illegal it should be like some type of paper that says you cannot do this 
Come on, bro. Come on. This one thing is something that's limited edition, all right? And, and you get like a, a, a extra pair or something, and you want to sell that extra pair for a little more. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But for you to sit here and buy 30 plus of the items that were supposed to be for everybody, it's ignorant just to sell them for more. So oh, I gotta make a profit somehow. What? No. No, buy one next time, go get a real job, and get on my face. That's why you got finessed and owned. Look at you. What's your dumb self? Then? Now you down $800 and can only get one iPhone. Goofy. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, which one of the other players on the other team would you say are your biggest competition in this game? Mm, no one, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's for real. Well, you have lost three matches in a row. So oh. that kind of makes you there. Oh my god, why would she say that? You know what? Like, I'm, I'm really glad you two can talk to each other in whatever language it is that you're speaking. What? It's really rude. And if you want to be polite to the customer, okay? If you want to, if you want to, hey, if you want to be polite to the customer, then you speak English to the customer in America, okay? My kids don't eat Bro, no, I can't. I can't hold it in no more. I'm itching. I'm itching it up. Come on, dude. First of all, you need to get control of your kids. They look like your kids run the household talking about mom. We don't eat green things. What? I wish you would say that. And I spent fifteen dollars on this food. You ain't gonna eat then with your greedy self. Come on, we're talking. About I don't eat green things. You don't eat these green peppers. Talking about what they allergic to them? No, you just a terrible mom. You are racist and you ugly. Bruh. You think the world revolves around you talking about? We gotta speak English. We ain't talking about you. Ain't nobody even worry about your broke self. Ain't nobody worry about you that we gotta talk about you in Spanish or whatever language we speak in. It don't matter. We gonna speak whatever language we want. And what you gonna do about it? I wish you would reach across this table because I'm gonna grab you by that ugly blonde scalp of yours. And I'm gonna rip it off your head. And I'm gonna punch you repeatedly seven times in your face, dude. You deserve to be beat up. Come on now, what is she talking to them like that for, bro? Talk about, I don't have 15 minutes. Okay, then take what you, what you got. What, you want us to make it magically appear? It's gonna take 15 minutes, bro. Now get out my face. You did it right the first time. Customer is always right. Shut That's up. how it works here. And I don't have time for this. I don't have time for 15 minutes of you two being rude, talking about whatever it is you're talking about in whatever language it is that you're speaking, okay? This is America, and you get it right the first time. You get it right the first time. Get it right the first time. Get out. Get it right the first time, okay? Oh. That's embarrassing. Michelle, what do you what do you people want? What do I want? Michelle. When you say you people, what do you mean? The complaining black people uh, blaming others for the failure of their parents and their lives. What the uh, blame blaming that would others be? for whatever it is you're complaining about. What is it exactly do you want from white people? First of all, I'm just gonna take a breath. Can I answer for you? And I'm trying to find out I what want, you want. What's your nationality? American. Are you white? No, yeah, what's his nationality? Because he ain't black no more. Yoink! I'm taking that back, bro. He ain't black no more. I, you know what I'm saying? Right or wrong, bro. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I'm going to stick with my side until I die. Period. You know what I'm saying? But what I want from the white man or just everybody else. I don't want to be profiled no more. How about that? Just for starters, I don't want to be profiled. I don't want to have be followed around Walmart because I look black. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I, I ain't stealing nothing. I ain't stealing nothing. Let me just buy my stuff in peace. What are you following me around the store for? Come on, bro. Like, that's weird. I don't want to be pulled over just because I look like this. I don't want to be beat up because I look like this. I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, get away from him, son. He's black. I don't want to, I want I don't want that to happen. That stuff happens, and for them, the, these Republicans or these black people to act like that don't happen is weird to me. 
know what I'm saying? They have some points in that I like that I be understanding. Like, yeah, we 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 may be playing victim sometimes, and sometimes we may not take kind of accountability. Okay, cool, but you're not gonna act like they're not doing nothing on that side either. I think it's wrong on both sides. So you can shut this up with your old self. You 60, 70 years old. You look like you was around in slavery. Now you kissing the white. Come on, come on, bro. This old man. What do you want? <laughs> oh, you do. And why? Why do you think that? Why do you um, think that? Uh, because you seem to separate yourself from, from Shit. us, should I say. In Put us way? on the other side In what of way? the fence. He acts educated. I don't like that. They think they better. What you specified uh, thus far. Meaning what? Tell me. Give me an example and tell me what you mean. You how you mean? How do? Us. What do you people, people want from white people? Meaning people that I'm not with yourself. you. Oh, okay. It's I got just you. y'all by yourself. Let, right? me, let me explain why I do that. What you don't know is that there are two realities in life. Mm -hmm. okay. One is that of good and one is that of evil. Okay. And now that I've been able to overcome evil, I don't identify with angry, evil black people. I identify with other uh, blacks and others who are on the side of good. And so that's why I say you people because I have to divide myself or separate myself from evil and go along with good. So that's why I do that. Well, that's not right. That's evil. I'm sorry, your anger, your blaming others for your problems, your lack of love and respect for yourself and others. Okay. Here's my question. I don't it's think that makes us, that, I'm talking about us. I'm not that type of black person. I'm just going to say it off for real. You know what I'm saying? I kind of stay out of my business. I don't really get into all this, but I kind of like just, I don't know. I don't like how he's saying it. Like, I like, I feel like. And sometimes there may be a reason to be angry. Like, I don't agree with, like, the people that's sitting here. Like, I think we do, like, portray ourselves bad sometimes. Like, what are we sitting here fighting in the street for? Why Why our stuff always dirty? And, like, why are we not taking care of nothing? Like, why are we always stealing? Why are we always doing this? I, I understand that part of the, the argument. But, like, I, like, what are we angry about? I think that's kind of wild to say. That's how I know he never really been through nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he the type of dude that in grew, grew up in Beverly Hills or something, bro. Like, they really in the trenches out here. Like, that's why, like, I feel like, I don't like when people speak on something they never been through. I'm not saying I've been through it. That's why I don't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I, or at least publicly, at least, I might, to myself, be like, oh, okay, why, why y'all doing this? But publicly, I'm not gonna sit here and bash them because I don't know how they living. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's ignorant for, like, people like this and other white people and stuff that that's looking from the inside or outside in to sit here and judge somebody, but they don't know what's really going on on the inside. Y'all don't know how they living, so keep your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. I feel like that with anything, though. Like, you don't know how they feel. You don't. You ain't never walked a mile in their shoes. You ain't never did nothing, but you got so much to say. That's the type of stuff that be making me mad. You know, I know I'm going deep and going off on a tangent, but it's just, like, that stuff really begins to me sometimes because, like, these people don't even, he, like, he don't, like, know. He don't know. He looks at a piece of a piece of paper and reads statistics, but he ain't never been out there. He ain't never did nothing. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's the type of people I don't I don't respect him. I don't respect him. He can be educated and all he want, but I I hate people like that that think they're better than somebody because you got a sheet of paper, you got a degree or something. I hate people that like that think they I don't know. I just don't like people that think they're better than other people. It just makes me mad because realistically, nothing that you have makes you better than me. Nothing. Nothing. You like you. You're spoon fed. You you got the silver spoon. You ain't never worked for nothing. Daddy did this for you. Mommy did this for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I don't know. I just I, it's just hard for me like to respect that person because they think they better than people. And I don't know. I just don't like it. Well, when do you stop? When do you stop with the abstinence? How will you know it's time? Well, once you have a ring on your finger, obviously. Mm -hmm. The only way to know for sure is once you're married. And, of course, this, this people know I'm a Christian. This column is not at all pushing faith on anybody. It's just talking about the actual benefits. If you really want to argue for abstinence, you can stop the argument and be abstinent, don't get sick, and die. Yeah. But uh, okay. you know, I can say from personal experience that the, it does build a bond of trust. Constantly hear women. How often do you hear, well, don't you trust me? It's like, no, you slept with me on the first date. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I don't trust it's you. It's that old thing, like, I uh, wouldn't join a club that would let me into that club. Right. You know, it's, yeah. you know. She's going to sleep with me, then she'll sleep you know, with anybody. Usually Canadian. They won't yeah. let me in. Yeah. But also, you know, if I sleep with a guy on the first date, usually if, if a guy holds my hand, he's going to wind up What? <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't think that... I don't pen, think that... Pen. I don't think that women should use sex as a bargaining chip, and a lot of them do. If I want to sleep with someone, I do it. And I, I am a monogamous slut. Can I say that on yeah, air? Yeah, I think you can. Great. That's uh, not what we're worried about. But what I'm saying is, what I'm, yeah, I 
have a higher risk of disease. I also have a much higher risk of fun. No, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is to prove my point by saying that, you know, you don't think it should be used as a bargaining tool. Yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, it's this, the kind of point of the column is that abstinence is the one taboo issue regarding sex. I mean, it's like, oh, it'll be a dirty stand-up comic. You're cracking new ground there, Copernicus. But once you talk about <laughs> abstinence, Everyone, all of a sudden, they put you, like, right now, we have to talk about it. Because who is this kid who's talking about abstinence who, you know... Well, it's who is this kid who's, you know, 23. You don't know who you're going to be sexually yet. So to talk about it with such authority huh? and arrogance... I don't know who I'm going to be what? You don't know who you're going to be sexually yet. You're going to be into really weird things in about a decade. Oh, I have no <laughs> doubt. I have no doubt. Yeah. Trust me. And the thing is, it doesn't... But I'm saying the whole point is... He'll be married. We up on stage. We even talk about it in the column and talk about anything dirty that they want. But the second you mention abstinence, people, they pucker with discomfort. Like, oh, no, we can't talk about this. And you're vilified as it's judgmental. It's not. A Statistically, it's the healthiest thing to do. It is conducive towards a better marriage by a 25% spread, both physically. It only takes that one person, though. And there is no, there's no contract that the person's not going to cheat on you because they're abstinent. They could, she could there fall no in love contract. with somebody well, else. Well, actually, there is a contract. That's what a marriage she is. Fall, it's a contract, well, it's a contract that, that, more than, that more than... Hey, this one's weird. Well, actually, that's not true. Actually, if you can look at the new U.S. Census Bureau statistics, uh, more than 70% of first-time marriages last. Okay, but then the guy goes off and sleeps with a young boy. Well, <laughs> well good. Yeah, like you guys stayed married, but there, then there's infidelity. Well, I want you to bring out the statistics that guys are running around rampantly sleeping with young boys. Whoa! Well, I'm not a boy. I know I have characteristics as such. I'll That's the thing. Like, lack of abstinence is directly linked to really good abs. That's the problem. That is a problem. Yeah. What? I've got, I've got a beer gut. But I have to yeah, say, my here. last three... Are they playing or are they for real? I'm confused at this point. What are they talking about? Is this dude with the, the weird haircut, not a Jimmy Neutron haircut, trying to force abstinence on everybody, or what's going on? And this lady over here, she just seemed dirty. I don't know who's side to choose from. Like, it, it looked like they both bad. I'm just gonna stay in the middle, I ain't gonna lie. Relationships, which each lasted between two to five years, we slept with each other almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And it's because I knew that I wanted to be with them, you know? Except that why'd you year, kill them? Except at the five year mark. Oh. Ah, uh, he. He did kind of debunk that at the end. He got on, but that's another thing that I don't like. They try to force their views on everybody else. Why can't your views just be your views? That's why they your views, bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, that's just how I be feeling like with a lot of stuff that go around in the world. Like, I don't like how people try to force other stuff on other people. Like, oh, the world needs to be like this, so you're going to have to do this. No, oh, the world can be like that without me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do whatever I got to do in my little bubble. I'm one person, you know what I'm saying? Or I know that's not realistic. Like, I'm one person is going to add up to, like, I'm one million persons. But because you know, how many people are going to feel the same as me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't know, though. I think if everybody just stayed, like, in, in their own brain and did everything that, like, I don't know. Oh just didn't even fear other people's lives. I know, like, it'd be, like, gray areas where, like, the circles overlap. But... I don't know, like, I guess, I, I, is that, am I just being unrealistic? Is that, like, a, not a world that we'll ever be able to get to where everybody can just do what they want? It's not not what they want, but, like, be who, not even be. Just have their own views, you know what I'm saying? Feel how they want to feel without trying to project it and force on everybody else. You feel like this. You feel like that. You need to feel like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? I can feel however I want to feel, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pick whatever side I want to pick, and for you to sit here and say one side is wrong, which it may be, I just feel like it's not your place to say it, unless you lived it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. That's how I feel about it. Y'all know y'all from the comments. Which one of these do y'all think was the craziest? The one that got me the most mad was definitely the one with the black dude, and he was going against the other black people. Like, why are we always fighting each other? I don't know. We supposed to be on the same side, but that's the one that made me most mad. Y'all let me know which one was the craziest of y'all in the comments. And y'all know if y'all enjoyed video too much, the comment button, like button, notify button, subscribe button, all the buttons, because guess what? <sighs> These people got on till we gone.